Hi, in this video, I will attempt to replace the standard pickups on my 1984 Made in Japan Fender Stratocaster. The reason I'm doing this is because the original pickups are quite noisy. To demonstrate the hum that I have with this guitar, uh, I will go ahead and record the sound. So this is picking up a 60 cycle hum that is uh, evident in all three positions. For the new pickups, I have selected the Marzio Area Pickups. Uh, I purchased this online from Sigler Music. This is their 920D custom shop with the DiMarzio Area 61 at the bridge position and two Area 58s uh, at the, uh, the middle and the uh, neck position. I'm hoping that this will be able to eliminate the, uh, the hum that I'm getting. One of the other things I'm not sure at this point too is uh, whether or not I need to shield the body of the guitar. Uh, I'll have to see how things sound after uh, I put these in. One of the other things to note is that this is um, a pick guard that is for the standard Stratocaster and I believe there are 10 holes but my Fender uh, Strat is a vintage style with only 8 screw holes so I'm not sure if it's going to fit properly and I have to make the decision whether or not to, to use this pick guard or maybe replace um, just take everything off and put it on my old pick guard so we'll see how it goes the first step is I'm going to remove all the old strings. Next I'm going to remove the screws from the pick guards. I'm going to lift up the pick guard. As you can see, the body cavity is not shielded, and we'll see if that makes a difference. These are the two wires that are coming from the output jack. And on this uh, guitar, there's only uh, one additional ground wire coming from the back of the guitar. I'm going to remove these now. Okay, now I'm going to see if the new pick guard uh, fits the, uh, the body and if the holes line up. Now from a distance it looked like things might that look okay, but as they get closer, see the um, the holes are off by just a little bit. And I don't want to force it because I think the screws are going to go in a little crooked, especially in these areas. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can uh, sand this area down a little bit so I can push the pick guard up by just maybe one millimeter and that might line things up. But otherwise it seems to uh, line up pretty good. So we'll see. Let me try that and we'll see how it goes. I think that's going to be easier than taking all the tone knobs and the switches and the pickups and putting it on my old pick guard. Okay, working on this for about half an hour, I got it, the uh, the holes to line up a bit better. What I had to do was 
um, use a little um, knife and sand this area so it fits a little bit more snug. And I also had to um, widen the hole a little bit just so that the, the screw holes line up better. And now that I've done that, I feel that um, I think it's going to be okay. It's amazingly that most of the screws are uh, still lined up. Um, of course, there are additional holes that will have to be drilled in a little bit later, but uh, I'll worry about that uh, after I get everything connected. One of the things I noticed that with this pre-wired pick guard that it already included the um, the hot and ground wires. So that means that I'll have redundant wires in my body cavity. So I've decided to remove my uh, old ones. And so I'm, I've already removed the uh, screws to the quarter inch input. And then these are the two wires, which I'm going to remove now. Next, prep the ground wire with a little pre-solder. Next, solder the ground wire to the back of the middle tone knob. Okay, and that's what it looks like when I finish soldering the, uh, the hot and ground leads to the quarter inch input. I've decided not to show uh, my soldering um, process because uh, it's my first time and I don't have good technique. So I decided to just uh, show you the end product. Now before we screw everything in, let's just check that everything works. I'm going to turn on the amp. So I could still hear a little hum. So that part of it, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought it would be uh, completely silent. This is with the volume turned all the way up and all the tone knobs turned all the way. If I adjust the tone to one, it's pretty quiet then. But with it up at 10, there's still, I could hear this buzz. Check the um, bridge position. So that works. Same thing, I hear the buzz. Not when I turn it down to 1. If I go on an intermediate position, I could still hear a hum. So it didn't completely take away the hum. So I'm wondering if I should try to shield the body cavity now. Give that a try. For this part of the project, there are other videos available online. Uh, for me, I decided to just go to Home Depot and get copper tape, um, which is about $10. That's what it looks like. It took a few minutes to get the first pickup cavity filled in, but I'm going to keep going. All right, it took me about two hours, but I finally lined the inside with copper tape, uh, including the uh, quarter inch plug and uh, grounded both areas. So I'm ready to put everything back now. Okay, here we go. Let's turn the amp back on. So I guess I could still hear a little hiss. I don't know if the shielding really did anything different, but okay. For the last part of this demonstration, I will need to drill in some of the holes because on the standard pick guard, there are a few additional holes that was not that were not on my vintage uh, pick guard. So uh, I went to Guitar Center and purchased the standard um, half inch screws for a Fendel Stratocaster. And I have used, I've chosen a 
Uh, this is a 5 64th drill bit and I'm only going to go in um, a little bit half, the, a little less than half an inch to accommodate for the screw. So again, just center the drill bit. process and then just put in the screws. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, now that I finished everything, let's plug it in and test it. So that's really good, very clean. I used to have this annoying buzzing sound and also the 60 hertz hum, but now it's all quiet in every position. I have my Strat going through a Pod HD 500X with a Marshall a modeling amp to my Roland. Very quiet now. <laughs> great in all positions very quiet so very happy with this I'm glad it was a success thank you for watching this video I hope you found it helpful